Mm-hmm. Well, hello again. He's hungry as always. I've slept till he's completely rested. Um, and clothing wise, he's doing really well. I'm gonna take these with me just so I can break them down. Um, but where I'm going, I'm not gonna need that shirt because it's the land of cloth. Now, I know I said that I was going to go to Mystery Lake. And then I got to thinking, how many times have you seen, if anybody's watched this, this channel at all, you will have seen, um, you, you will have seen me go to Mystery Lake. But what I don't do very often is go to Milton. And Milton's right here. Like, really, just other side of this cave. Um, fairly gentle walk. Uh, broken by the wind. Uh, so, you know, you can uh, find established uh, wind breaks and such. Now, I don't have a pry bar. Bit of a problem. Gotta say, I'm not uh, enthused uh, about that at all. But, um, I found that... Um, The doo -doo -doo, the area around the gas station, they give you that break. You know, they give you the break where they're like, hey man, can't get in here without one of these. You probably didn't bring one. We're going to set one, you know, within a hundred yards of the place. It's kind of like when they put that um, emergency stim at the bottom of the ravine. And then eventually they put a bed down there because people, I don't think enough people were finding the stim or I don't know what, but I think they got a lot of complaints about that being a death trap. And honestly, you don't need a bed. You make your own bed. Get some cloth, you're coming from Mystery Lake. Heck, the dam's got cloth laying around in it. Okay, um... Actually, I found, yeah, even though I can see, um, whoop, whoop, alley up. even though I can see, I find that, yeah, um, I don't know, the download process or whatever kind of screws up the, uh, what do we got for any coal in here? I don't know, she's just a dead end, but. Any coal. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to put it down and walk away. There's some coal. See, I thought... If I go... To Milton... Um... And if I survive my time in Milton... And that's a big if. I'm not even armed. I don't have an orange gun. I don't have a... I can make a gun shape with my fingers. That might make the wolves angrier faster. And then they can attack me. Um... But that's, that's all he can do is find a stick that's shaped like a gun and make gun noises with his mouth. He's not armed at all. So, um, going to Milton is really dangerous because there's a lot of wolves. A lot of wolves in Milton. They, uh, They hang out there. That's 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 their home. So it's important that I grab coal because my plan is now. Remember, I had that long arching plan. Well, I just walked up to the old drawing board and. And erased it. Still not warming up really quickly in here. And I, I'm i trying to stay off the sprint button. Because I have a rope climb down. There you are. Saw that out of the corner of my eye. Uh, got a rope climb down. And then a rope climb up. And, uh, well, the rope climb up isn't the 
biggest rope climb up you're gonna encounter it's hefty and he will be exhausted when he gets to the top of that and he's almost at at full health so Now I hate this area up ahead because this is where um, Judy Rambo died. Yes, yeah, so she got uh, she was crouched, and the wolf just turned and walked right towards her, and within about five steps, went into charge mode. All of it happened really quick, and then I thought for sure I could fight the wolf off. And uh, it tore right through uh, a bear skin coat and a wolf skin coat and all that clothing and just, just, just killed her. So the wolf down there is, uh, seems to be pretty strong. Well, he's starting to cool off. I like the fact that he's in tip-top shape uh, for, uh, for condition. Now he's getting cold, and I would like to run. I really would just like to just pelt down this hill, get right over to that rope, and, uh, and get out of here. But um, so cold, it'll it'll just exhaust him. Lay down for a bit. It'll exhaust him, and I can't have that. And I mean, if I, if I knew the spot you can get down, because there's usually a spot you can uh, skip a rope. They're, they're nice about it. Where can I find something to eat? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, man. Yeah, I don't think, not without hurting myself. Not on this side, anyway. Just taking a look. Well, that would have been a good move, just me falling off. All right, here we go. There's a blizzard waiting to greet us as soon as we get on to, down to the floor here. So let's see if I can spot that evil, evil animal down there. No, it doesn't look like... And he doesn't hang out directly underneath the rope, so far as I can tell. <laughs> oh boy, I hope he doesn't hang out directly underneath the rope. Yeah, I don't have a hammer, I don't have a pry bar, I don't have anything. All I can do is desperately use my fists to punch a wolf in the face. And uh, that is, uh, that's a, that's a tough situation to be in, I think. Oh, oh, yeah, stop running, stop running. Yeah, I can still make it up that rope. Just keep walking downhill. Hmm. 
Hey, sardines. I can't imagine they'd be very good. They've been hanging out in a cave for for who knows how long. Um Hey bud. Some matches. Like I said, it always takes a little bit of time to open a corpse, I guess. You know? That's what I'm I'm getting as far as the uh, that's the indication it gives. Ah, good. Good. Oh. Alright. See, I'm collecting coal because my idea is I need to get off topic so easily. My idea is do I light a fire? Use that book and light a fire. Light a book about fire starting. It's the amount of time versus my fatigue, right? My fatigue's dropping. And pretty sure I haven't picked up any coffee. Nope. Now, you'll notice I also don't have a stim. Like, I can't get out of it now. I have to go. I have to go. Darn it. All right, well, as we embark on the next uh, leg of our journey, I'd like to give uh, my friend Al a, a shout out. He's a uh, guy I work with. So, I worked with. Really good fella. Really good man. And uh, yeah, he's been checking out some Long Dark videos. So I'm hoping, you know, he scoops it up one of those days when it's on, on sale. I hope the wolf doesn't see me. Here's my singing for the day. Don't even look at him. Just keep walking. Don't look back. Ooh, look, a stick. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just some guy walking around picking up sticks. I'm no, no threat to the ecosystem. See, and I mean, at that distance, any wolf, real wolf, would, would know. And if it was vicious and thought you were food, it would just come over and eat you. So that's one thing it's kind of like about the game. It's like, you know, it's a little far out. Yeah, I'm hoping Al gets the uh, gets the game one of these days when it's on sale here. Because, I mean, really, I saw it on sale for nine bucks recently. And I'm like, oh my, who are you robbing? It's like, if you get this game for nine dollars, then, um, <clears throat> Wow. Donate 10 bucks to charity, because actually that's all I paid was 20 bucks. I got it on sale too. It's pretty happy about it too, I gotta tell you. Okay, where are we here? Oh man. Good. He's doing it with confidence. I like that. There we go. Yeah, I thought he'd be fairly tired after that. I keep expecting the um, the wind to turn really, uh, really harsh on me here, um, really soon, like really soon. Whole weather just to turn on onto its head. You know, he hasn't been attacked by a wolf or anything. You know beat up he's getting from just climbing a rope. That's a stick. Hey, man. It's warming up in here.
Yeah, it's quite the experience, this game. Watching it's one thing, but... Hoping and praying over what your own survivor is just, you know. As the woods run out, but the blizzard's still going. Nobody needs this anymore. Hey, you could always use another pair of mittens. But yeah, the amount of times you just sit there and you're like, what do I do? I'm so stuck. If I go outside, an animal's gonna kill me, but if I stay here, the weather's gonna kill me. It's a pretty intense situation. Hmm. Will this come in this handy? Come in handy. <laughs> will that come in handy, I was asking. He thinks so. Did you have a gun? Who's got that gun? All these broken windows and you're still sheltered from the wind. It's nice. Now, I would like to kind of hang out here and warm up, but... I'm not, uh... I'm not confident the weather's going to agree with me. I'll warm up here and listen to the music. Okay, that's enough music time. Let's go. Oh man, we got three of these beasts. Look out. Usually I like Damn. to take the high ground up Freezer. there. That way I can kind of look into it. We'll go with a surprise this time instead. Oh, if there was a wolf standing there, it's a... Everybody gets surprised. I know there's rabbits there, so I won't be throwing rocks on the ground by accident. Okay, come on, truck. You know my style my style of of play. I just pray you'll take care of me. No, no uh no pry bar in here. This stuff will come in handy. Hey. What's with all the mitts? Come on. Goddamn freezing. You're not taking care of me the way I like. Where I just stumble luckily into things. Hello? Alright. Is he chocolate? Okay, let's hop in real quick. Oh, it's granola. Just out of this. And it's new, so it won't poison me. Or at least that's the hope. Hmm. That car door is loud. Where is everybody? Die if I don't want and not to the people. I know where the people are. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. This is why me and first-person shooters don't get along at all. 
Because while I'm doing that, I'm getting shot in the face. Is that a wolf going up there, or am I just seeing things? Cool thing about Milton, no idea of what the actual wolf routes are. No idea. Let's run up over hills and get killed, shall we? Like, you'll see me do that a lot. I'll just run blindly at a hill. Just like a lunatic would. Did you hear that? Well, do I panic? You bet I do. You bet I do. I thought that fall was going to be lethal. Whew. I had to take a bit of a break there. Okay. Let's see what I can do to myself here. Killed myself here a few times. But I'm in the neighborhood, so I might as well, you know, see what I can do. If I run the gauntlet, I run the gauntlet. If I get m murdered, then, you know... I'll start over. You know, you just hope that you don't get murdered. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Like the wolves are always somewhere. Just, you know. There's a rope. Yeah, still the sprained wrist. Sometimes there's stuff in there. Yeah, well, at least there's a rabbit hopping around right out front. So at least it doesn't seem... Ha-ha! There's my way in. Never felt so cold in my life. Really? Kill me. Oh. Well, there you have it. You've just watched a really bad run into the Milton farmhouse. Torn clothing, sprained things, wiped out half my condition just getting here. What an absolutely ludicrous thing I did. So, of course, I think just, I can use this. just like burning myself alive, I'm alive. Though, so my run's gonna keep going forever for however long you know so um good but at the same time usually i have a little bit more composure around the wolves um but i found when they're that close they just come over and maul you they don't they don't just you know make that noise and then and then bugger off there he knew i was there yeah, we'll check that in a sec. What I want to find is... Hopefully... That ah, looks like it's not here. Sometimes you can find the heavy hammer out here.
which is what I'm looking for. Pork and beans. Brand new. Beautiful. Just out of this stuff. Well, the food's nice and fresh. Yeah, usually you find, if you're going to find the heavy hammer, it's, I think, right there. So, did not find it this time. Or did not find it there this time. Did somebody throw it out? No, they did not. It's not in the fridge usually either. You know, it's kind of one of those things, like it falls where it falls, right? So that means I gotta look around and find that hammer before I go to Forlorn. So it's somewhere in town, probably. If I'm liking that, but... Because I don't know Melton. So... This is me running blind. Hey, look. Windbreaker. To match your other windbreaker. Adds the clothing. Gloves and shirt are almost done. So are my jeans. But I can get some some leather together with that. Water. So what I'm gonna do is hang out here for a little bit. Um, feed him, water him, and fix up his clothes. So I'll see you after that, because that's boring as I'll get out to watch. And then we'll look through the rest of these cupboards, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right. I'd eat anything right about now. Turns out the uh, world really isn't round. It's sort of, uh, it's like flattened parts, looks like. Well... My mind's been blown. All right. Um, so, I'll look through some drawers here real quick. Maybe there's some uh, a bonus item of clothing. Like a... Uh, not a windbreaker? Okay, we've checked those. All right. So, now just walking on out into here. Do -do. Uh, rummage this uh, filing cabinet. See if they uh, drop anything on us here. Oh. Where in Milton would that... I could use this. Oh, wow. That is a bonus piece of clothing, that is. He could definitely use that. All right. Well, so far I found a toque. That's really good. Maybe the kitchen's got a little bit of something for me here. Not a lot of matches this run. You know, that's a lot of packs of matches so far. I can always use more food. Yes, yes you can. Weird weird uh weird thing about this place. Not a lot of cloth. No, this guy was more into the into blinds than he was uh into curtains, so so, uh, the office entryway over here, I tore down those curtains. Um, you know, there's it's just, yeah, you was more into blinds. So, not a lot as far as cloth goes over here in this particular building. So, um, I'm almost back to normal from my ordeal. I did fix up my clothing a little bit. Got the pants better, got this shirt and my sweater a little better. Yeah, throw that, throw that hat on. Look at that. Gotta get, uh, gotta get these work gloves dealt with really quick though. Wear those for now. So hungry. 
yeah not a hammer to be found here so let's go out and look out back and crouch because well i'm not crazy i've died a lot here Holy cow, a rake. Aha. Sometimes there's lantern fuel out here. Sometimes it's just a couple of pieces of wood. But when you're using that workbench to craft things. Couple of pieces of wood sure comes in handy. Where am I gonna find myself a hammer? Hmm. Who's over here? Anyone? Anyone? Nobody. All right. This is weird. They're out there. I know they're out there. They're always out there. Like, I mean, look at how serene that looks. How could I possibly be in danger? I'm not buying it for a second. All I need to do is go down this road to the nearest house. It's just a little walk. In what looks like increasingly thick fog. Oh man. Well, this is intense at all. Oh, I love a bottleneck. Hmm. Oh man. And again, this is what makes the game so great. I mean, look at what, what am I looking at? Really nothing. Can't feel my feet. Ah, the foot feels the foot when it touches the earth. Huh. Stay on the road. Look, see, signs of civilization. Oh, oh. Hear that? That's a kill deer. I know that. Kill deers are awesome little birds. You know, gravel. Gravel shaded. But nobody's open? Nobody's open for business. Not one house. Good, those are wolf, uh, wolf noises. Those are rabbit noises. I don't see anything. I'm not making the noise. Yay, I'm in a structure, not at the other house. Huh. Well, altogether, this has been a terrifying uh, time in Milton. Could end up being useful. Nah, probably not. Put that away.
Bloody hell, I didn't check the microwave in that farmhouse. Come on, coffee. Or tea. Ah, it's already open. Okay, well, nothing in this uh, little disaster of a kitchen. Of course, my nice tasty toilet water. I was going to say, nobody's going to clean their house out that thoroughly and then leave medication behind. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's see what's up here. I think this is one of those bed-free homes. Yes. So, unless you bring a bedroll, you're not sleeping here. Well, you know, I'm not sure I can carry much more. You can carry some more. But, you know, you can sit up here and, and fix some clothes up a bit. Tear down some cloth. These people weren't into blinds, but they did take some of their curtains with them. So. Or most of them. All right. They're the only socks I have. There we go. This guy. That'll get me almost a degree of warmth bonus. Nice. These guys are doing okay. This guy could use a little work. My pants still. But I do want to fix up my work gloves. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hopefully it's not foggy anymore. It's foggy. Who am I fooling? Oh, that was hilarious. We got an update reminder that just took over the whole darn thing there for a second. Run for it, buddy. There could be a wolf like right in front of me up here. It's one of the few places where they actually just plant a wolf on the front lawn. It's scary. I gotta say, so far Milton's not being very nice to me. All the things I'm looking for, I'm not finding. Like, I'm finding things. And it's like, wow, that's great, but... Excellent. You didn't keep a hammer, heavy hammer, kicking around, did you, Grey Mother? I don't like it. In story mode, when she's here, it feels a lot better. When there's then there's a person you're going to, as opposed to just yet another empty building. It's kind of feels a little better. I like the NPCs. Not very nice people usually, but.
All right, well, you've never seen this before. Spoiler alert. On the, um, you got a heavy hammer in your back room here, Grey Mother? It doesn't look like. I would do anything for a drink right now. Just hold on here for a second. See, that's where the combat pants are. If they're going to be here, they're just sitting on a chair. But I got a pair of jeans instead. So that's good. I'll take more pants. They're not good on the windproofing. They're not, you know, they are not combat pants. But. And combat pants are one of those things that sometimes don't show up. I think. Like, I think literally they just don't show. So. You know, if it's not in a couple of places, it's not there. So. Anything for a drink right now, eh? Would you drain a toilet? So that's just what, that's what happened. <clears throat> All right, six liters of toilet water. Down the hatch. Mm -mm. All right, well. Although I'm not finding all the things I need, like what I'm looking for exactly, I'm not finding no pry bar, no. Because the heavy hammer might be in that. In the gas station. Ooh, that, means, oh, that means I have to find the pry bar. All right, well, next episode, I guess I'll be looking for a pry bar. And hammer still. So, um, I hope you enjoyed watching me panic and run around in a zone that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Well, I wouldn't say completely, but... I know where the wolves are walking usually in other zones. I know where they hang out. And in this zone, I don't have that information. And I continue to run blindly up hills like a lunatic. So, you know, I'm probably going to get myself killed here any minute. But yeah, so next episode, maybe check the bank. Um, check out back. I get mauled out there a lot. Go to the toolbox there. See, maybe there's a pry bar kicking by a toolbox. That would make sense. More beans. I don't know if I want to eat those. But yeah. <clears throat> we'll see you next time. And until then, keep surviving. And we'll be leaving from Grey Mother's house to go to the bank and look for a pry bar. Bank, post office... Somehow get back to the gas station, all while staying alive. I don't know if that's going to happen. Because once I find the hammer, then I'm going to beeline it down to Milton. Or, um, Milton Basin. Then I take it all the way to Spence. Because you come down and you're in that overlook. I don't have the... Oh. Still empty. All right. Gray Mother, Mother Hubbard, I don't know. Nothing in those cupboards. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, keep surviving. And we'll see you when uh, he hopefully finds a pry bar. So, all right, thanks for watching.